Almighty God. Amen. I don't think y'all heard me though. He's worthy. Come on now. Give him all the honor. This consists of JFK, Brooklyn PNDC, and the Queens PNDC. And every day I thank Almighty God for how he moved me to be the senior plant manager. Yeah. I share this because I come from a praying mother and a praying father. All right. And, and, and I really need to stress that because my mother always prayed over her two children for us to be the head and not the tail. All right. Come on, preach. Talk about it. Above and not beneath. All right. couldn't touch mail. Mm. There was a law mm. that we couldn't touch the mail. Mm. And now I can't... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Now, now, it's approximately 15,000 employees in the tribal district. All right. 15,000. We, 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 we do approximately... Uh, eight, nine hundred thousand parcels alone for the carriers. We, we, we do approximately uh, six, seven million per day on the letters. Do another four hundred to eight hundred thousand on the flats. And I do it well. And, and, and I do it because it's really important that you hear me. You know, Michael Sledge thinks he was invited by Derek and, 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 and the Reverend to come share and to speak. But the engagement I've had since I've been in here at 9 o'clock or quarter to 9 this morning oh, right. is over, overwhelming because I'm listening to the Morgan District, the, the New York District, and I'm listening to some people right in my own district having some struggles and some difficulties, and I'm, I'm able to be there face to face and say, look, take this card, bring a piece of paper and a pen. You see, we can't give up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we, we don't come from a culture of people that do give up. If you really look back on your own personal family history, we don't give up. This organization sustains for a lot of reasons. And my wife and I, you know, I met my wife in the Postal Service. Changed my life. No, really changed my life. 
we, yeah. we, we, we talk about the these young time. kids that's coming in now. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, I wasn't a good kid when I walked up in here. <laughs> 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 the pants wasn't hanging, but I had on Lee jeans with the bell bottoms, right? I did the dashikis in the summertime, and I was a, I was a clerk. I was a clerk. I, I don't have no godfather. I used to with nobody to get my position. I earned my stripes in this company. Okay. From from a clerk to a 204B to a supervisor to a manager to a plant manager at a Priority Mail Center, to the plant manager of Western Nassau up in Long Island, to the plant manager of Queens PNDC, to the senior plant manager of the Tribal District. And I wish I could tell you, I wish I could tell you it was easy. But with a supportive wife, Six daughters. Mm. Oh, right. I, I didn't have one. <laughs> Six daughters, two sons. No, I don't like TV. I don't teaching and she's blessed to have it. This is a generational piece, man. My children are blessed. My children are my pride. My wife is my pride. Because I know I wouldn't be here of being stable. Like I saw my parents marry forever and I saw her parents marry forever. The stable part of this. This job has been consistent. The paycheck has been consistent for 33 years. Wall Street in 82, and, and my dad said, take the postal test. I don't want to be no mailman. I don't even like that blue uniform. <laughs> Boy, take the test. You're going to need the benefits. That's before the children came. I was making 20000 at Morgan, Gar uh, Morgan Guarantee. The postal service was hiring for 24000 to be an LSM operator. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> The four thousand. I've always chased the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> the four thousand was the difference of, of 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 what I was presently making and what I'm, I'm I was started off in the postal service. I never went near twenty four thousand, but the health benefits allowed me to do tremendous things with my with, with my family. Yes. All my children college are educated. All my children are doing well in their careers. And, and I share this because, you know, in the midst of the struggles of day to day of working, 30 years or 33 years, sometimes we, we forget what the job has done for us. And then sometimes we get so locked and loaded in people stuff and personalities and we forget this is paying my child's tuition. This is paying my rent on my mortgage. This is paying my insurance. This is allowing me to take care of my mama right now. This is allowing me to take care of my sick brother right now. But we get caught up in the moment that he said to do what? Mm. <laughs> he want me to do what? <laughs> if you get a moment of clarity, and you think back, what would this your, your life be right now without this organization and without your present salary? I, I don't lose focus on that. I grew up on 143rd and 8th Avenue in Drew Hamilton Projects. When it first opened up on the 13th floor, my parents stayed there for 18 years. And I promised myself none of my children would live in a, in a project. And what went with that was that I need to work, and I need to work, and I need to work, and I need to work. And I need to change my attitude. I need to get some business skills. Five P's I live by. And I heard Derek talk about it. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. I want to be this, I want to be this, I want to be this, but I ain't been an e-career or do a 991 yet. I'm working next to a senior every day, but I won't ask him. Can you look at my 991? What's a 991? It's a resume. 
in corporate America, but in the government, the 991 is the way you advance because they see that before they see you. Amen. Many a days they see the name Michael Sledge. They don't know I got a tan. <laughs> <laughs> And then when I show up for the interview, <laughs> Carrie's wearing uniform, the truck driver's wearing uniform. If you really want to move up in the ladder of management, you need to put on a uniform. Mm. I ain't talking about no pimp outfit. <laughs> I ain't talking about no hook outfit. You need to really walk into that interview business type. Amen. And then from, it's grooming from the hair to the sideburns to the beard to the earrings to the bling to the nose rings. You come into view with me, it's business. It's not about your color, it's about your performance. It's about your credibility, it's about your integrity. It's about really, you know, how honest can you be with yourself? You know, I'm sitting here with my wife, right, and I said to, to some of the executive boards and some of the presidents here, and, and you're the presidents in, in this organization, you have a hefty job. And what's on my heart today to share about, I have onboarded, brought in, in the Tribal District, 400 brand new employees in the last two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Derek mentioned about the consolidation in Trigo. Let me tell you what the consolidation looks like. We were processing letters and flats in Brooklyn and Queens. We took all the letters and all the flats and put them in Brooklyn. Queens is now a total parcel building. This morning, 687,000 parcels in one building. We didn't have the people in Brooklyn to process the letters and flats for almost a year. Mm. So the service suffered. Yes. So somebody above me finally said, you know what, Sledge needs to get some people. <laughs> you reckon? Finally. finally. Almost a year later. Mm -hmm. But I onboarded almost 400 PSEs and MHAs. And me and Derek was talking during the break. We have onboarded almost 500 CCAs. Mm. Do the number, 400 MHAs, 500 CCAs, that's 900 brand new employees. Why aren't they in this room? Presidents, my door is open. Seriously, you can ask some of the people I've met from this organization, I return emails, don't I sis? Do I wait long? And I don't even know who I'm responding back to. My point is, if you want to grow, and I heard the, the, the uh, <coughs> president say what membership is to this organization. And my wife and I are sitting there, and I'm sitting with the young people. And don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with our age. Right? Some of y'all are a lot younger than me. <laughs> but I, 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 I need to understand that we're going to build, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to make these moves. Uh, Derek mentioned it about Trigo having it doing our orientation piece, right? Like APWU speaks to their members and the Mailhound speaks to their members. Your organization is stronger and just as old as theirs. And I'm questioning why nobody's knocking on a senior plant manager's door and asking about, about the onboard. The last time I spoke at one of your conventions, I was down in Jersey, Derek, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, Megan is the first female postmaster general we ever had, and I happen to know her. She said, I happened to actually visit two plants that I oversaw when I was there. I can't sound like I'm from the projects or, or, or off of 8th Avenue when I speak to these people. I need to tell them what they want to hear. I know how to move, ma'am. I know how to staff. I know how to be fair. I know what integrity is about. I got, I got two things in every building I've ever worked in that they have plaques on the wall. Michael Sledge is rude law. Your integrity and your credibility is everything. Mm. And I'm, I'm sad to say, everybody doesn't have it. Mm. And then the other piece that goes with this tan and this handsome young man in a suit. you <laughs> 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 What they
they expect me to do. Be late all the time. Chase women. Be drunk. Don't show up. Fail at everything I touch. Let me tell you about the prime, the, the, the power of alliance and the power of networking and the power of relationships. I have more people in my district that will go through a wall for me because right. I was a clerk that worked hard. I was a supervisor that worked hard. I was a manager that worked hard. They brought me back home after four years on Long Island. Not a lot of tans on Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> they brought me back to Triborough to come right back home to accomplish one of the biggest tasks that I don't know if a lot of other people could do. And the reason I get it done, and I really need you to hear this, I'm only as good as the people that work with me. I'm only as good as the people that work for me. I'm not stuck on ego. I'm stuck on God. I'm stuck on the spirit of I remember sharing with my wife, and I don't know if you remember, we were living in the Bronx. I became the transportation manager in Brooklyn in 1998. And I got promoted over people that were there for 20, 25 years. And I only had 14 years on the job. And it didn't dawn on me then who put me in that seat. Because I'm, I'm like, I don't know, some of y'all know me. Devin, to my shop? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not always nice. I, I, you know how people can be so honest? that it bothers other people because you're honest, because you look call it as it is, and it's not always nice words. I'm working on it. God ain't done with me. He ain't done with me. <laughs> but my point being is I knew then that this is bigger than Michael Sledge or the Sledge family. This is about me touching people, making moves, making some wrongs right, and leading. I lead by serving. I don't think y'all heard that. <laughs> I learned a long time ago to be a good leader, you have to be a good follower. That's right. The question is, what are you following? Who are you following? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like real clear on Almighty God in my life and my family. Hallelujah. All right. Awesome. And, and I share that honestly and sincerely. There's nothing we can't do as a group of people. This organization had my attention before I ever became a postal employee. Mm -hmm. wow. Let me tell you why. I said, no, no, let me shut up, right? I grew up on 143rd and 8th. I would take karate at 129th. But I would walk down 7th Avenue, and there's a big sign on the corner of 135th Street. Yes, it is. <laughs> And I didn't know what that was. <laughs> but the sign would stick out, whether you're on a bike or in a car, walking down on a corner on 35th Street, around the corner from the YMCA, yes, right? on the uptown side, yeah. I would see that, that sign. <laughs> and I remember this as a kid. I didn't know I was going to be a post office. <laughs> <laughs> but my mama told me it was going to be Rikers or, or Attica. You know what I mean? <laughs> Our visibility, and I'm including myself, our visibility is so important to the community, to our politicians, to this younger generation coming in. We, we used to control our communities. Yes. I couldn't do no wrong before my mom or daddy got home. Because yeah. Ms. Powell was tough everything. Right. <laughs> like her job was in the window, man. <laughs> 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 well, it's the same thing now in this company, in this organization. The, the, the seniors, the elders, the, the ones that have been here a long time like me, we need to like grab these young folks coming in here. And like guide them. 
I wish I could say I was a good, good employee, good clerk when I came in here in 84. I wish I could say that. My wife knows I wasn't. <laughs> Derek, I think you heard the stories. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing that we can't accomplish. And, and I, I really like to leave you all with, this is so much needed. And the visibility is not just the internet. I'm a face-to-face -face people guy. Don't get me wrong, I love modern technology. I'm on it too many hours in a day. But I like to talk to people one-on-one -on -one <laughs> in their face and be brutally honest with you. <coughs> this job has changed my lifestyle. This job has allowed me to do tremendous things. And check this out, I ain't done. I ain't done. Because I believe for once, I'm supposed to pull some people up and pull some people up and pull some people up. And then, then retire, and your job is now to pull some people up. Anybody can complain about what's wrong. Amen. Who's willing to roll up their sleeve? Forget your title, your position. Who's willing to make a change? Who's willing to get in the, in the, in the muck and mire? We haven't progressed or evolved by sitting back complaining about what's wrong. Anybody, everybody can talk about what's wrong. <coughs> my charge, my question to you is, am I alone? No. I can't hear y'all. No. 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 My name is Michael Sledge. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.